Okay, hi. Yeah. I think it's alright. But my voice is this. Okay. The point is, I was taking the, the Chinese class and yeah. then we need to explain. Mm -hmm. And the professor say, well, they need to use a microphone because, you know, the Asian people is a little more shy. Uh huh. Yeah. But then when it's my turn, I was prepared to take the microphone. Yeah. And the professor said, no, you don't need a microphone. I was like, what? <laughs> You're what do loud you mean? enough. You're loud what do enough. What do you mean? And the professor said, yeah. And the professor said that your voice is loud enough. And I say, no, my voice is not loud enough. I feel that my voice is. I don't, I don't know if it's because I heard myself. Uh -huh. I feel my voice is not really loud. Sometimes I feel like my voice is really small. No, you project actually quite well. Really? Yeah. So even for you and like people further in the back, they can hear you very clearly. No way, really? Yeah. But for me, that's something that I realize I tend to be a soft speaker because when I do like on stage, like acting, yeah. the professor would say, louder, pronounce. <laughs> Articulate, Tyler, I'm not hearing anything from you. So then I have to really, I, f I can almost feel like I'm shouting. Yeah. But they say, no, that's like the normal voice. But when I talk like in my natural way, so, uh, yeah, most of the time I need to use my microphone. Before to start this beautiful episode, we need to say thanks to Studio 307. Thanks, Studio 307. Say the speech, say the speech. Okay, every time we're gonna say that we are forever grateful for Studio 307, and thank you for providing this amazing space, amazing spot for us to record our podcast in order to bring even more fun content, uh, even more interesting show to, uh, you know, people. And guys, if you are like, you know, living in Southern Taiwan, is sp specifically if you're living in Tainan, I definitely recommend coming here and check something out. Yeah. The best price, the best equipment, Mean, the best environment, the best everything, and even yeah. we can stay here for you. So <laughs> the <laughs> we might bump into each other. Yeah, <laughs> the best of the best in Studio 307. Thank you, Studio 307, for being our sponsor in this episode. Honestly, everything is possible. We are living in a world where you can make it possible possible because we started out as, you know, two guys with literally no jobs. But right now we are actually sitting around. Well, we're still seven, with no yeah. jobs. <laughs> we still have no jobs. <laughs> we are just now people with no job, but with quite a little bit of followers. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Let's try a little bit different more style. Elegant. How do yeah. you say more elegant, okay? Ama, Akung, Ape. Menu, Swaigo. It's me, Gongor. And it's me, Tyler. And this is Bros, Bros Bond. Bond. Ooh. I kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the very first time we're not yelling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody, now today the topic is about the news, okay? Yes. Exactly, maybe no news, no actual news, mm -hmm. but it's something that we find that can be interesting and maybe you didn't know about this. Yeah. So, if they're not recent news, at least they used to be some some news. <laughs> juicy. I yeah. think something, something really juicy. Something that Im impact yourself or exactly. like change your form of mind. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's not everyday news, like a, yeah. can be really shock news yeah 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 exactly i think brosman our there's a lot of things going on in the world and we try yeah. to you know right really pinpoint and choose the, the topic that can be actually quite thought provoking for us to you know have some self-reflection and try to see like oh this is my thought and try to also you know have other people's perspective and you know join the conversation or the discussion and i think that's actually it's quite healthy yeah, yeah. as long as we don't can get cancelled <laughs> okay well uh you want to go ahead and start oh okay okay for example one of the shows one of the really really shock news that yeah. I saw that like let me and you're drinking water bro <laughs> what what are the things is, is somehow related yeah it's it, it's really related because it's like a <laughs> shock me and when I listen this it was like a could be right because everything makes sense mm -hmm. listen this I'm going to propose I'm going to tell you this okay maybe it's really scientists probably thinking it's possible that the water that you drink could be the pee of one of the dinosaurs. <laughs> you see? Could be the pee of the one of the dinosaurs. And when you start to understand this, this, this news, it's like, a, okay, the water is one of the most older resource in the, in, the, in the earth, right? It is, it is. Yeah, it's one of the most older resource in the earth. So even the dinosaur use this water and yeah. the process of the water is a one cycle, right? It's the same now. You 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 drink this water, 
and then you do P. And this P go to that one process that could be processed again water. And maybe you drink it again. Yo, it's totally possible because for one person, after that person drinks, you know, taking some fluids, it only takes about 40 minutes to to pee. Uh, to pee. So it I, has been like recycle and recycle and recycle. Yeah, recycle, <laughs> recycle, recycle, recycle. So it's probably that one of the molecular of the water you drink could be shared with the one dinosaur. I think it's not probably. It's like it, it's, it's gotta quite one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Honestly, it doesn't have to trace back with dinosaur. I could just be drinking my grandpa's pee. What? The That's. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I I really hope this don't take too fast of the process. But yeah, or you cool could be me. drinking mine. <laughs> <laughs> but wow! Cheer for your pee. <laughs> Cheers. We're drinking each other's pee. When I was in Peru, I was sick. One of my one of my aunties yeah. say. You know, if you want to be healthy, every day in the morning you drink your first pee. Yo, I heard Yo, people say that. Yo, really? Yeah, really? Did you do? No, I didn't. No. Do that, but I think personally, if I have to choose, right? If I have to drink my pee, I would rather drink a lot and then have a really, you know, like almost transparent kind of. <laughs> the first pee, the first time you urine after a long sleep, it's super yellow and yeah, super, super orange. It, it, it smells like just urine. Really hard. Yeah. Why would you want to drink that? I don't know, but I listen people. That One says like it probably contains some good bacteria, so that it can boost your immune system. Bro, I, I didn't find a resort. I can't. I can't <laughs> lie. I can't lie. So everybody, if you're listening, I didn't find a resort, but I listen. The people say that he's healthy. I don't know in what way, in how is the way, but it's healthy. Even if it's scientifically proven, it's very healthy. Would you want to drink it? <sighs> For me, no. I rather die two years. I can tell you, maybe, I, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, <gasps> maybe. Listen, listen, listen to before because I was in one of a point in my life. I was really sick. Really, really oh, sick. Okay. That I try a lot of things. Even a lot I of put different... pizza in my penis. For you put what? <laughs> pizza in my penis. Pizza? Yeah. <laughs> I will put pizza in my How penis. How the fuck would you put pizza? In my... The guy, the guy, just the doctor say, hey, uh, if you want to be more healthy uh -huh. in this, because you, you have a whole human system problem, uh -huh. so you need to. I don't know if that guy really lied me or scammed me because he didn't sell the pizza, <laughs> but he told me, okay, he was a doctor. Naturist do doctor, okay. Uh -huh. Then totally nat natural things, just natural thing. Mm -hmm. So he grow up plants and he make pizza. Oh. And he said, okay, this pizza have a lot of protein, have a lot of good things. Uh -huh. So just put in your body, put in your face, put in your penis, put in your bottle, and then you will be healthy. Your skin will be more better. And I was like, in that moment, I was. Well, at least I, I don't nothing to lose. I mean, I really sick in the That's point that like, I can try whatever, whatever you, you, you say. You gotta try what you gotta try. Yeah. I so I remember that day. <laughs> Imagine in my house, I I was with my pants uh -huh. and one pizza inside of my butt, <laughs> and I was like uh, walking <laughs> with my pizza. <laughs> But how is it possible? It's <laughs> greasy and oily pizza, right? No, pizza. no, no. Just, just the 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 the, the uh, how do you say the. Me and Bao of the pizza. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, okay, the okay. pizza, no, the whole oh, pizza. I thought it was like a pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Ah, okay, okay. The pizza, okay. The, 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 only the base, only the crust. The, the base, the, oh, the okay, base okay, of okay. the pizza. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, what the fuck? And you have like onions, green peppers, <laughs> olive everywhere. Oh, but that's really interesting, yeah. I think uh, when you are really sick, you, you can try. Everything. If you. I if I'm really sick to the point, then I yeah, probably I would try. I make a one strike of this uh -huh. plant, and I drink that every day when I was oh, sick. Oh, okay, so okay. That, but that I can tell you, bro, is suck. It's really terrible. Talking about plants, you have something to say? Talking about plant? Uh, ooh, <laughs> the transition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love your transition. I love your transition. Uh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, well, this episode you're on fire, plan. bro. Yeah. So uh, we're talking about plan eating plans, and quite more and more people actually are become more aware, and then they try to be. You ever heard of the score flexitarian? Flexi. Flexitarian, which is flexible plus vegetarian, is like they have more awareness. When I try to eat more plant based diet, but when there's a barbecue party, you bet I'm there. 
<laughs> so it's like it's more flexible. But that compared oh, I th to, I think that's the, I think that can be. You are a big one for decision and convenience. Yeah, people are like more <clears throat> aware of their intake when it comes to food. Okay, right? okay. And so this news, I already showed you the video, so I'm gonna briefly talk about what happened. So there is this person. Um, he's vegan, and then while he was doing live stream, he talks about. We all use phones, right? And in our phones, we probably all have this emoji or sticker, so emoticon, some, something we can choose that can better represent with a graphic on, on it. So uh, this person is basically saying that, well, uh, I have been emailing Apple every single day to ask them to remove the meat emoji because as a vegan person, I find that very triggering, very offensive. So that's basically what happened. And down there in the comment section, people are like, oh yeah, you hate me emoji. Let me type you thousands of them. So. I mean, we're not gonna talk about the comment. We're gonna first talk about just for this situation. If someone tells you they feel emojis being very offensive, very triggering, and we should remove them. Do you eat meat? I love. Yeah. What do you think about this demand? He's making demand, asking people- About the like, emojis. Yeah, about You're emojis. You're pointing about the emojis. Yeah, about emojis. Fucking is fucking ridiculous. Why is it fucking ridiculous? Because bro, it's, if you don't, we are living in one culture about censure. Mm -hmm. Everything that we don't like, we want to censure. Oh, yeah. I have a people who think about, maybe same like us, mm -hmm. they want to censure. Mm -hmm. But you can't censure everything that you don't like. Yeah, that's true. Because every that's true. person likes something and every person don't like something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we have a variety of things, yeah. a diversity. Yeah. So, for example, we pass we pass one dark period. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, we uh -huh. pass one dark period. And a lot of people send me hate mm -hmm. and they comment in my photos, in my lovely photos with my wife. They mm -hmm. comment stupid things. Mm -hmm. And I delete the whole comments and I block these old people. Mm -hmm. And the people ask me, why'd you block me? How what dare you? Delete? you? <laughs> How dare you block me? <laughs> How dare you delete my comments? Uh -huh. And I ask you that people, sorry, but I'm not too stupid to one lovely photo that makes a lot of memories of me and my wife. I am going to just let your comments. Yeah, you have the option to comment whatever you want, but I don't need to be the person who are going to, I'm obligated to see your comments. I'm yeah. not obligated to have your comments in my photo. It's my photo and I can do whatever you want with my photo. Your, in Peru we say, your limits, your obligation, your, your, your rights yeah. finish when the rights of another person start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. So you are free to come in whatever you want, but I don't need to be obligated to yeah. keep your comments or read your comments. Mm -hmm. So if I don't like yeah. the emojis of people who post myths, I don't care. Just I block of my life. Mm -hmm. If the people use the emojis, it's their own problem. It's not my problem. Yeah, so it's it's like vegan find that to be offensive. I wouldn't say vegan as a whole community. This particular individual finds it offensive. It's like understandably, maybe that is true for you. Maybe no, I can tell you that. when I saw the video, I was really, I have a just concept mm -hmm. is the guy was first the guy accept to this because mm -hmm. the guy was making a live stream yeah. and when you make a live stream you have a hundred of people watching you yeah and whatever the people you can't control hundred of people watching you yeah and exactly. you can't control the comments mm -hmm. so the perspective of the guy was he has the intention to say something yeah to share one idea but another people was thinking like a, it's a joke so they send this like a joke or try to hurt these people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but like when you are doing this job when you are doing live stream when you are doing this you know this is going to happen and you need to see three steps up front yeah yeah exactly i know how is your mind about you honestly i'm a bit concerned because um you don't want to receive hair again <laughs> no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no i mean like um Obviously, vegetarians or vegans, they are the minority of the group. Like most of the people are meat lovers. Uh, not every vegetarian is like that. So I, I would say that sometimes when you have a strong point that you want to make and you want to it demand something or you want to try to raise the awareness, 
being overly dramatic or being too emotional while you are expressing and you know taking your stand. Most of the time, people might take it the wrong way, even if you do have like a solid, valid point. Yeah. So I would say we watched that video together. I would say he was being a little bit overly dramatic and a little bit too emotional to the point that I think that it's probably gonna bring bad names and bad reputation. Like people might think, oh, obvious oh, I like that. Wow, they're so sensitive. Wow, they're so easily offended. And but that's not true. I, honestly, I, I think like there are a lot of different kind of vegetarian. The ones that oh, I don't eat meat, but you go ahead and eat whatever you want. They don't shame you about it. But there's another type of vegetarian. It's like oh my god, you're eating cow cows. You're a you're a slaughter and you you are killing lives and you're doing some kind of things and i think that you don't necessarily have to shame other people and to glorify you know all the benefits and all the very glory perspective of being a vegetarian i think you can just be you and we respect you and you can also respect people who choose to eat meat i have a really strong idea because i grew up in the farm mm -hmm. i grew up with uh, my grandmother i grew up in the older culture mm -hmm. even when, when i remember when i come to taiwan in taiwan the whole, a lot of people have uh, the pets guinea pigs oh yeah but i eat guinea pigs and when i come Childhood. to taiwan when i told yeah my traditional food is eat guinea pigs mm -hmm. and a lot of people was like what uh, you eat guinea pigs, you're a monster. They're so cute, why would you eat them? <laughs> so you see now have a one conflict between culture. Yes. Because I found, I can tell you, I grew up in one farm that every fucking morning you need to wake up really early and you need to collect the food of the chicken, of the guinea pigs, of the sheep. You need to go to buy really early, like at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 4 a.m. Before you go to the school, you need to collect oh. the food. And you need to wait one year to before to eat this sheep, you need to wait one year because that you yeah. need to grow up and you need to take care because that animal is so easy, died. Yeah. So you need to take care. And in the end, you eat the whole meat and you be blessed because you say, finally, my whole effort. Yeah. I can eat this meat with my whole effort. Uh -huh. And I enjoy, I delicious. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. So if I am wrong or I am a monster, yeah, I think just, you know, because you guys grew up in different households and different culture and sometimes it's like, it's not necessarily right or wrong. I think for, for, for that girl, if you're a strong-minded vegetarian or even you're a vegan, that's your lifestyle. Yeah, for sure. You you can have every right to, to practice what you believe. But at the same time, maybe try not to shame other people while they have not necessarily the exact same approach yeah. when it comes to choosing their food. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a culture shock, but I had a shock by uh, from my, my grand grandpa and my grand uh, and my mom. So I, you know, I freaking hate birds. I'm like so scared of them, right? I can't be anywhere near them. And the other day, I was talking to my mom, and my mom said that my grandpa used to have a lot of pigeons. Oh, weird. Yeah, because you know pigeons, okay, if they, yeah, yeah. they had proper training, they fly, and then they yeah. have like rays or some other things, and so he was doing that, and we had like a whole like thousand, no, not thousand, maybe hundreds of pigeons in the fourth floor, and where it used to just like my my my, my grandpa used to you know compete in a lot of those race matches, and you have the fastest one and the slowest one right the stupidest one and so <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about you say that the, the slowest one is a stupid it's very cruel i would say because you know asthma like <gasps> shoulders of breath yeah. and my uncle used to have that and i don't know where my grandma and grandpa got that idea so they thought people said that if you cook pigeons and fit the kid their asthma would become better they will not <gasps> they will not do uh -huh. like, they will not suffer from that anymore and so every time when they have a round right the slowest one my grandpa would catch the that one and they the would cook them? the pigeon and I, I was I was hearing that story and I was like so in shock and I, I asked my mom like so you also had pigeon because your brother also had pigeon and my mom said yeah because he had too much and you know he's just like tired of eating them and they actually taste like chicken i'm like what you eat birds and my mom said chickens are also birds yeah why, chicken why, and why, birds. why are you making a big well you were surprised yeah why are you so surprised and like so it's like different culture maybe sometimes you might be really shocked like even for vietnam or where they have the fertilized egg where you open it, you can already kind of see like a half-formed 
chicken or wow. duck. You can already see like a tiny, but you eat the whole thing. It's fertilized already. Yeah, but it's I mean, not. Like you see, like, yeah. I, I eat guinea pigs, and the people look yeah. at me really strange. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you eat guinea pigs? So I, I would say just try to understand different other people, uh, different other culture, and try to remember like you have every right. If you don't want to have that, if you don't want to consume that, don't. Never. Don't try that. But if other people decided to do that, if they're not give, doing any harm, and I would say, yeah, try to. You don't have to absolutely understand it, but try to respect it. Yeah, like yeah, I'm we, going we, with, we get to be different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, I eat cocoa dried. You you uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I ate cocoa dried. Crocodile. Crocodile. What does it taste like? Like a chicken. Is it white meat? Yes, yeah, white. <gasps> Good. What's the texture like? Really chewy? Oh, it's a little hard, but it's good. You had that in Peru. Yeah, in like the jungle of Peru. Oh, oh you know, oh. even when you go to the jungle, uh -huh. have a Aboriginal, the Aboriginal people, uh -huh. and the Aboriginal people have a really strong traditions. Oh, okay. That for example, for example, I have, we have a liquor, we have a drink from a uh, spiders or uh -huh. drink or. Snakes, something uh, like that. Yeah. Snakes, yeah. I would. Taiwan also had that tradition. I've never tried that before, but they yeah, have. I never tried uh, the soap of a snake. I think Taiwan has snake sake. Yeah. Yeah, they put that in the alcohol, and I don't know how they do that. Oh, my It's father like, one time. My <laughs> father bring uh, alcohol of ants. Yeah, ants. Your father-in-law or father? No, no, my father. My Your father. father. Yeah. Alcohol of ants. Yeah, ants. Is it like all down there in the bottom? No, it's, the no. What's, we have a really in the jungle of Peru. We have a really big ants. Uh -huh. So they put that and they ferment, and you can see in the bottom a lot of ants. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. but it's culture. It's culture. Yeah, it is different culture. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. About vegan, I have a really quick story I wanted to share with you okay. about barbecue ones. So this ah, is the uh, barbecue one. Right? Yeah, the barbecue one. Oh, so, oh, I'm getting hot right now. <laughs> yeah, because uh, in my memory, I honestly I. Find it a bit funny. Am I sweating? Oh my gosh, shit, I'm sweating. <laughs> Look at my armpits. That's the reason why I wear black. <laughs> do you guys care? Is it inappropriate? Uh, If I do this, can you see it? No, 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 no. I can edit okay. that. I can edit <laughs> that. <laughs> But no, you know the worst part? Uh -huh. Now, when you are sweating, this yeah. part, the worst part you can do is do this. It's gonna sweat even going more. To sweat more. <laughs> and then maybe it's going to be more. So try to... The best thing is try to be normal because okay, try to be normal. You know, this is the problem. If you notice, mm -hmm. you notice. Yeah. Nobody is going. If you say, "Oh, I'm sweating," is <laughs> the whole people notice that? Uh, look at his armpit. <laughs> yeah. It's nobody is going to say, "Oh, you're sweating," mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, unless it's me, of course, because okay. I notice everything. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So now um, you looks like an employee guy. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm just fitting in my character right yeah, now. Yeah. After job. Yeah. So um, when I was in college. We were a bunch of poor international students uh, studying in the U.S. And what happened is we were like, "Oh man, I want to eat barbecue." But yeah. when you go to like all you can eat kind of barbecue place, sometimes you ended up one meal costing you thirty dollars, including tips. That's like almost like almost a thousand New Taiwan dollars. Yeah, and it's ridiculously. Costly to students, so we were thinking, well, maybe we should go Costco and buy a lot of meat, and then maybe we should have like have our own barbecue party. So we were like, 20 of us were like, yeah, let's do it. And so we had a line chat group, and uh, in there there were some Americans, right? And so we have this one person trying to organize everything, and then she invited everyone into that group chat, and then she asked, okay, so I am going to start preparing all the food and everything, and the the grill and 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 stuff, and she said that. Um, just curious. Any anyone vegetarian? If you are, please let me know. Um, and so I can better prepare something, something. And if you are vegetarian, please let me know that. What do you prefer, right? And so I was like, oh my god, this is culture shock in Taiwan. If you have a barbecue party, nobody asks about vegans' opinion. Nobody. They just assume that you come, you have something green. Yeah. Yeah. They don't prepare. They don't. Wait, wait. I think, any I, think, I think I think the the part of, if it's barbecue. And you are vegan? Yeah. Basically, you already accept that you're going to eat meat. You're yeah. not going to be a barbecue vegan food. Yeah, yeah. Unless the title said barbecue vegan team. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So at the time, I was like, whoa, it's a barbecue party. But then she thought about asking people. If they prefer yeah, so in, in, in events. And I was like, oh, first time culture shock. I was like, oh, okay. The people are so, you know, respectful and try to be more inclusive. And then 
there's actually one girl. Like let's say the the girl tried to organize it called Amy, yeah. And the girl who responded, let's call her Betty, yeah. And Betty responded, and Betty say, oh thank you for asking. Yes, I'm actually vegan. Betty I, is vegan. Yeah, Betty's vegan, and she said that. Thank you for asking. I'm so happy that you asked because nobody really cared about vegans. So what, uh, Betty? Toys. What you are in the group? Huh? And then Betty <laughs> say, oh if it's possible, I would prefer a different set of grill and a different set of you know like the the clams and oh, everything Betty, you are and the different food set because that person asked already so she thought that okay I'll tell you all, all of my preference yeah and just when I thought oh my god this this is actually happening this is wow it's so American so advanced and <laughs> <laughs> I was I was legit thinking oh maybe next time when I have barbecue I need to learn this yeah I need to ask if the everyone? next moment I saw it Becky left the group <laughs> Becky being removed from the group chat <laughs> <laughs> Emmy removed Betty from the group chat and then Emmy comes again and Emmy said I'm gonna ask again Emmy are you vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> What's an apology? <laughs> well, wasn't like a really like a gentleman way to say of oh, if anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right. So. Oh. Okay. okay. That was. I was, was shocked amazing. and then double shocked. <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. You but I would say, I mean, like, if if you try to stand from like a uh, yeah, Betty's perspective she might feel really hurt like did i just get kicked out for you know you asked me a question and i answer you and then i got kicked out but i would say it's like it's a barbecue party betty so but maybe it was a really tricky question it was yeah it's she, like a, I, I, it's like she a, was fishing yeah, yeah. Was fishing. <laughs> she, was fishing. she was fishing i think i think amy was fishing i think yeah Becky, i'm gonna catch the <laughs> go to the drama yeah. yeah i have one thing that i want to share this is not like a very recent <laughs> it's not a very recent new but it was a uh, kind of like a really huge news back in the days i would say like about even i saw i can tell you i saw a lot of reels talking about this Oh really? Yeah, I saw a lot of reels. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, so it's kind of popular, and it's kind it was of kind of popular. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of popular, and I think personally, it's very worth discussing. From like, especially you are learning languages, and I being a Chinese Mandarin native speaker, I think yeah, it's 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 great to know. So you already watched the video, know the event. I'm gonna briefly talk about what happened. Yeah, you put me in news. the middle of the storm, right? <laughs> like, we are. If, we I'm are. Not, if I'm going to die, I'm not going to die alone. You from already now watching. on, I am going to drag <laughs> Andre Kango into every single one. Of the shithole that I create <laughs> because the last night was I watch a video and now we watch the video. <laughs> yes, now, but that's with all seriousness, uh, with all jokes aside, I, I do think that I learned a lot from uh, that ex ex experience, the certain incident, and um, it's we grew really, up. Yeah, it's true because we starting from just two personal, you know, we we have two personal accounts, and then suddenly we have this one official account we are getting more recognition and i think at the time i didn't really realize that how influential and how powerful words can be especially when you are being recognized you know by more and more people your words hold certain power and it's very critical for you to pay attention and you know take cautions when it comes to using your and you words. know what's the best part uh -huh. it's because thanks to these mistakes mm -hmm. we can be the best version of us mm -hmm. we can grow up together we can mm -hmm. learn together and we yeah. can be more professional because yeah. if we didn't make mistake we can learn nothing yeah exactly so i'm actually really grateful you know for for what happened and still i mean yeah well so now we stay in the storm what do you want to say about the okay <laughs> so the next one <laughs> the next one <laughs> okay um so what happened was there is this uh, there was this professor and he used to work in shanghai so he knew he, he knows some chinese uh, certain phrases or like idioms or usage and he was teaching in this university in california and at that time it was nothing it was it was nothing about a chinese lecture it was a master program mainly teaching business and in that class the topic was uh, more like advanced communication and how important filler words are like for example in, in, in Spanish when you're like in between sentences what do you say? I don't say that I'm professional at speaking oh shit <laughs> fuck you <laughs> no no no, no wait, but because I take a class about that okay. I study communication mm -hmm. and in that process if you see I try to prevent this mm, uh, mm, filler words oh, yeah filler words because break mm -hmm. because we have a one class and our exam was mm -hmm. Make a one exposition yeah. and try to control your speaking yeah. and try to control the tone mm -hmm. and try to control the scene, the ring, everything. And we can't say 
mm, uh, esto uh, mm, porque mm, we can't say because yeah. one of these is minus one point. That's actually that's quite interesting because the class that professor was teaching is pausing between R and mm, R. Uh, well, those are actually quite useful and it helps bring and gather the two ideas in. So he was teaching, saying like, oh, fill the words. So let's say, for example, if you want to say that person, what do you say? Naga. 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 So Naga means that, right? Would you agree? Because you also speak Chinese. Naga.、Yeah. And I would also agree. The professor was saying Naga can sometimes also be used as a filler word. Let's say, for example, oh, what do you want to eat for lunch? Naga. Naga. Liang Yan. Naga. Right. So it's like it doesn't really mean much, but it has this richness to help you connect ideas and buy you some time to think about, you know, giving out an answer. So this professor was basically talking that and like, oh, you know, in Chinese, that 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 means Naga. So it might. I was like, oh, nigga, 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 kind of like this. That's all he said. But then after the session, after the class, the professor got reported for using racial slur, which is the N word, very, very, very rude, inappropriate, insensitive words. And、um, yeah, so primarily those、um, students who are protesting, I would say most of them probably are, you know, from the. Black community, and some are just you know allies supporting students. And so, what do you think from you know your your perspective? Like the students are protesting, saying, "Oh, the teacher used the N word in class, and we feel so deeply offended, and it's really triggering. It's such a terrible word. We demand, and we are asking the school to fire the teacher." I think you are losing your time. You're wasting your time. You're protesting for nothing. You are doing nothing. You are not going to change nothing because if you really want to make a change, you need to cut and you need to change the whole Chinese language.、Mm -hmm. And this is not going to happen. The Chinese language have a more culture and is really, really rich culture language.、Mm -hmm. The hands, the character of the Chinese is beautiful. It's、mm -hmm. so beautiful. The story how you create one. Character,、mm -hmm. I battle with that because it's really difficult to read, and every character have a really small meaning. Yeah, and it's a combination of arts. Yeah, but if you really are battled with this, like okay, we are going to change the professor because the war in Chinese is similar to one war, dedic like a one war that we can say that one war like a white person can pronounce or any person who is not. For this community, can't pronounce. You are battled with for nothing because what you are going to what are going to happen is coming another professor. Maybe you can put the king of whatever or the president of whatever country. And Whoever going, to pronounce that Chinese word would pronounce it that way. That way, it's going to say naga or naga naga naga. It's yeah, going it's, to say the same. It's either naga naga naga. But it's 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 all the same, and honestly, in that video, in the clip, the professor, it's contextually very correct the pronunciation, and I would say that, obviously, if today someone, you know, came at you and intentionally used some racial slur, then yeah, of course, you you need to cancel that person because that was you know they intend to hurt you to to insult you,、yeah. but it was nothing about. It was nothing about racial discrimination to begin with. So it, it, it was almost kind of like you're barking up the wrong tree. You are attacking the wrong person. The professor was actually giving some useful, you know, with the argument,、knowledge. with the nothing. Yeah, and obviously it's an educational setting. So I think, but you know, unfortunately, the professor was being removed from the class. He was not being fired, fired from the school, but he was still, you know, not being able to teach that class. So I would say, but it's it's. Really impossible to change world culture because even in Chinese you、yeah. have, a, for example, grabs. How to say grabs? Puta. But puta in French, puta. Puta. Is, listen to me. And in Spanish, puta is the same. Yeah. And that's been bitch. It can also、and、be、I'm、really going, offensive. No, I'm not going to be cancelled at Chinese because they say, oh, wasn't your home puta, chio? So you, I'm, I'm not going to cancel that. Like、you、a rapper. Rap <laughs> <laughs> I think we are not part of that community.、Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly. How I mean, I can't say this is the feeling because、mm -hmm. I'm not part of the community.、Mm -hmm. I'm a Latin community. We have a lot of a lot of another another word, another to say.、Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, since the perspective of a student of、mm -hmm. Chinese,、mm -hmm. I can't change this language. And if it's that pronounced in Chinese, 
is that how you are going to say because when you come to Taiwan you're not going to be afraid if everything say oh I want naiga in liao naiga I don't know what yeah, to say yeah it's so common and basically it's impossible to remove that from our language it's totally. so commonly used like every single person in your everyday conversation there's got to be a point that you have to use that right so it, it that's it's super common and even in K- Koreans because I'm learning Korean and in Korean they have diga and dega it actually it's it's even more com- it's even more common yeah. because that means you and me how common is that you can't ask them to change Korean because if that's the case I'm only learning these languages and I already found these similarities imagine all the language for example one of the typical case happened to me is when my father-in-law i think i have a lot of story with my father-in-law <laughs> but my father-in-law one day we was eating in the restaurant of my father-in-law boss so if it's your boss of course you need to eat everything and you need to say really beautiful words about the restaurant but the point is i was learning chinese yeah and when you say Heng nang is uh-huh. too difficult. It's say when you say Chelsea Heng nang, this you mean this is too difficult. Yeah. But I was learning in my early using chopstick. Yeah. And you know with the uh, noodles, it's a little difficult. I have oh, these yeah. it's soft really hard noodles. To, you know, they have a, a, these soft grip. noodles. Yeah. So it's more difficult for mm-hmm. me. So when they ask me how is the food, and I say Heng nang chi. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and uh-huh. because I was trying to catch the noodles, and yeah. I they say, "Chok si heng nan chi," and they put the table and they say, "What? What did you say? What did you say?" <laughs> and I say, "Tui ah, ni mei you kao si heng nan chi ah," and they they turn around and say, "My wife asked me, 'Ni xiang jiao zuo si heng nan chi, yin wei ni bu ke yong kuai zi, or si heng nan chi yin wei si bu hao chi?'" It's tasteless. It's yeah, edible it's, or it's, it's really difficult. Hard it's, you say heng nan chi because it's difficult or heng nan chi yeah. is because tasting like a shit. I was saying, "What?" Yeah, and she said, "Play me because heng nan chi is mean is too difficult to swallow. Mm-hmm. Is so that mean is it's difficult to consume. Uh-huh. It's disgusting." It's, uh, So I say, oh no 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 no! No, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't say that. No, it's 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 difficult. It's difficult because I, it's impossible to 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 catch that. that How no. I get this food and then it's <laughs> pouring into my mouth. Yeah. It's difficult. It's difficult. Oh. No no. Even is you have this circle, so you need to from the circle from the big table you need to put in your. Ah, table. there's a round table. Yeah yeah. I see I see I see. So it's it's quite interesting. You do different culture, different languages, and I just thought of one because I'm learning Korean and. And when we ask people, it's super common in Taiwan. We ask "ni chi fan le ma," right? It's like, "Have you eaten yet?" Yeah, right. It's kind of almost like a greeting. Yeah, but in Korean, it kind of sounds similar. "Ni chi fan le ma," they say "ni shi ba le ma." It means you are a fucking son of a bitch. Wow. <laughs> yeah. "Ni shi ba" means fuck. So that's just like that. The richness <laughs> in languages. <laughs> like, "Ni shi fan le ma." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's actually quite interesting. I have one challenge for you because you're learning Chinese, right? Okay. And you're okay. getting super great at this. So I'm going to ask you something about East. Okay. East. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have another story with East. Okay. So let's say, for example, I'll give you a given situation. I, you are a teacher, and my son is do- cheated in a class, and then you caught him. Yeah. And I'm the dad. I'm gonna bring you a gift, actually. Okay, let's see. You're going to bring me a gift? Yeah, I'm going to bribe you. Yeah, oh, because okay. you caught my son cheating. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna give him an F, and I'm trying to you know resolve this. So I am gonna start saying things in Chinese. Okay, this is the gift. So, uh, 老师，这是一点意思。呀，就是一点意思。我的意思是，就是这是只是一点意思意思而已。OK， 那如果你不接受这个意思的话，就有一点没有意思了，对不对？那实在有点意思<笑> ，Right？ OK， so 这是我的一点意思，就意思。<笑> I'm pretty sure all Taiwanese understand what the fuck I'm saying. Did you understand? Uh, I uh, say again, say again, say again. Let's say again. OK， 老师，这是一点意思，就意思意思。对，没没没什么意思。我的意思是呢，就只是一点意思。对，那如果接受的话，那真的很有意思；不接受的话，就有点没意思。Okay, I don't know. I, I What was I saying? I I don't know. So yeah, that's the richness in Chinese. Um, but yeah. <laughs> 
，这是我的意思，你没有意思，但是你知道我的意思是意思意思。Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you know what I mean. This is yeah,、oh, me trying to buy you, but if you if you reject that, then oh, we gonna have a problem, bro.、But、if you accept it, <laughs> my gift. This is a nice gesture. If you accept it, then oh, things are gonna be fun. Things are gonna be interesting. This guy, just, <laughs> yeah, just so bored. Do you? Yeah, so we're gonna get along, teacher. Yeah, because it's just a gift.、Yeah. No pressure. Just take it and give my son. You're a, a gangster. This <laughs> guy, <laughs> you're a gangster. So yeah, it was actually quite interesting. Yeah. Wow. Today's show is on fire. You were talking about you were talking about chopsticks. I have actually another news about chopsticks. So,、um, oh, yeah, that one is on fire. So, I know you say our game. We watch that video. That is my tactic right now. It, but it's a nice approach because we verified the source before we talked about it, and that in a way will kind of like. You check the source together. Yeah, yeah. I, and the whole everybody. If we didn't mention, but the whole resort you are going to see in the description of the YouTube video. So if you are going curious, to see the whole links and the,、mm-hmm. the whole thing that we are going to talk about. We would also get to you know read some articles or that certain footage of what we're talking about. But I do want to address. This is very important. Whatever topic we're talk about, we're mainly focusing on case by case. We're not pointing our fingers at any individual that happens to be in the situation or yeah, just like cheers for. Sure, It's all about case, yeah. We're talking about more like a broad.、Uh, I think like a, in the initial idea of this program was talk about the real th- things、yeah. in in the life, exactly. But we share our point of view. We're not doing any name callings. We're not starting any online bullying or anything like that. Okay. okay. So to start with the chopstick one. <laughs> yes.、Um, so imagine there's a there's the last Asian- episode. The、yeah. last episode of Go- <laughs> the last episode before we are publicly executed. <laughs> so、uh, there is this Asian guy, and then he, I think he went to Italy with his date or girlfriend at the time, and they were having you know like a fun time, and they went to this、uh, Italian pasta restaurant, and he ordered pasta, spaghetti, and Maybe he finds using fork it's a bit inconvenient. So luckily, he bought a pair of,、uh, like chopsticks, and so he started using his chopsticks. And then he was stopped by the Italian, either the restaurant owner or the waiter, and say one of the、no. personnel of that Italian restaurant. Because、yeah. we don't know in the、uh-huh. in the video, he didn't say anything. Yeah,、uh, and then they say he said no. No, you are in Italy. You are not in China. You eat like this, and then he used the fork to. You know, deliver food into the Asian person's mouth. So that's what happened with the with the video.、Uh, I would say the Asian guy actually handled the situation、um, appropriate, appropriately, appropriate without without anything. He didn't make a scene、anything. about it,、uh, but that could have turned so bad anytime if it weren't for that given situation. So I would say, if we, I want to listen your opinion before I because is every time I I say my opinion first,、mm-hmm. your opinion changes. So I want to listen your opinion first. My opinion changed. No. Yeah. Change? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I mean I can say everything. Okay. okay. Sometimes your opinion changes.、Mm. We talked briefly before the the show. I actually I think I have a different perspective with you from、okay. this one. So honestly, I would say,、mm, it is not conventional and not usual for someone to use chopsticks to eat spaghetti, but I don't find that offensive or disrespectful. In any setting, honestly, because you already pay for your food, and you're not being like so loud, you're not being disturbing. You find this is the m- most efficient way for you to consume your food. Yeah. So I think, honestly, I think it's 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 not to the point that you need to be stopped by someone. And for that video, I think it's that person shoving your f- the the food into your mouth. Maybe he can say like, "Hey, you." You need to respect the rules or the policy or the culture of it- Italy, but you can ask that person to change. But shoving food into his mouth, personally, I find that maybe a little bit、um, rude. 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 Yeah, a bit rude. First, when I watch the video, it looks like a really traditional Italian restaurant,、mm-hmm. and maybe the people want to live that whole experience it about the living in Italy.、Mm-hmm. So if you want to. I think was a little yeah、uh, for me from my perspective was a little. You are looking this, you are watching this because、mm-hmm. th- that if you buy a chopstick and you go to a restaurant, Italian restaurant, 
and just chopstick. It's like you don't leave the really experience. You need to eat. The, you need to eat with frog. Yeah, you mentioned a really good point. When in Rome, do as the Roman says, or do as the Roman do. It's it's like respecting their culture. Yeah. Maybe he didn't necessarily, you know, pay too much attention on respecting people's culture. But I would say, yeah, it's like different perspective. So you, what what do you think? I'm curious about your opinion. Are you curious about my opinion? Yeah, you, yeah. you need to throw me in the storm. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, it's simple. My opinion is, uh, when you go to the Oh, in Peru. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you, Lord. You thank you, Lord. I'm your Lord now. <laughs> no. In Peru, we say one sentence. Is, a donde fueras, haz lo que vieras. Okay, is, wherever you go, do whatever you watch. Mm -hmm. That's shocked me because when I come to Taiwan, some a lot of things didn't match with me. Mm -hmm. And my mother told me, relax. Brief, and you need to understand that it's their culture, and you are a tourist, you are a foreigner there, so you need to respect 100%. No matter if that didn't match or you don't like that, yeah. it's their culture, and you need to respect 100%. No matter what, you respect that. Yeah, I think one thing you mentioned was really, really, really important when you are in, you know, like a foreign environment, you do your best to try to not be too ignorant and try to be, you know, just pay attention to what's around you and respect the culture, I would say. But one thing that brings me, you know, like I have this thought, like what if today is vice versa? Imagine you're in Taiwan and you're in a Taiwanese restaurant and you see a foreigner walking in and orders like a bowl of rice. So obviously they serve you with, chopsticks right and you find it really hard for you to eat because it's not easy right and now this person decided to use spoon or fork or some other things well I mean, chances are 99.9 percent .9 no taiwanese is gonna step up and say no you eat in our way because we traditionally use chopsticks if you yeah. put in just clothes in this idea is the guy didn't do anything wrong is mm -hmm. their own culture, and of course, we need to respect their own culture. But if you open a little more, that it's not your environment. Yeah, it's not your. It's not a Chinese restaurant. Right. It's not uh, your continent. Mm -hmm. It's not your continent. Yeah. And plus that, you don't know if this guy have a really good or bad day. <laughs> I have a question. You say that. If in Peru, in your territory, your culture, your environment, it's something celebrating or something about Peruvian culture, and then you prefer you, you prepare you prepare that food, and then you invited all of your friends to come along, and let's say for example, if I go and then you say, hey, try this, I I, I made this, you know, spe specifically for this event, and you should try. It. It's very traditional. It's really good, and it's about that thing, right? About rabbits, about guinea pigs, and let's say for example, I said, oh. No, thank you. I don't think I can try. Do you personally find that? What the fuck? Do you find it offensive? That happened to my wife. Oh, really? My wife. Is. Okay, what happened? We went to the this farm, uh -huh. and my wife was really fancy uh -huh. because she loved the guinea pigs. Yeah. And imagine it. In the beginning, we start. Uh -huh. We come to the place, and we open the place, and you saw hundreds of hundreds of guinea pigs yeah. running really <laughs> cute some small some bigger with a lot of colors yes and my wife was taking photos my wife was recording she was over the moon yeah like, oh so cute and after that we sit down in the table yeah and they present the food and the food was guinea pig of course we was everyone was eating the same guinea we was eating guinea pigs mm -hmm. and my wife was sit down in the table with a lot of with five you know with eight peruvian guys eight peruvian people watching you because you are the foreigner yeah you feel and so pressured waiting, that you have to swallow that you i'm waiting <laughs> waiting you to eat guinea pig try it try it it's already it's yeah it's try it try it yeah, try it try it so what i say what i did my wife and i believe that she was really brave mm -hmm. is the same if you are under pressure in that moment eat one things it maybe a small a little piece uh -huh. okay try it. just try it. because just try it, you can first you can be clear what is the taste and the second thing is everybody can be happy. Mm. So you maybe you can try a yeah. little and then you can say, yeah. Now I tried. <laughs> yeah, I tried. Yeah, uh -huh. I tried. Because I remember that in that moment, in that second, my wife took a picture and sent yeah. to his parents. And his parents said, you are not going to eat weird things. Uh -huh. But for example, when I, I listened that, for me it was a little shock. In the beginning it was like a, so you are calling my food weird? 
Ah. You see this? You see? So yeah. it's really cultural thing. Yeah. I think if return to the case of the pasta guy, mm -hmm. it was an Italian restaurant in Taiwan mm -hmm. and one Taiwanese go and they can't use, for example, my father-in-law, he can't use frogs. Mm -hmm. He needs to use... Always quite, prefer chopsticks. Always, always. Yeah. No matter what. That's how he eats his entire life. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if we go to the Taiwanese Italian restaurant and he don't have chopstick, the old position, I give the whole right to the Taiwanese guy. Mm -hmm. He needs to demand that no, you are in Taiwan. Taiwan is the culture is that this, and the people eat that this. So you need to have a chopstick for one option for the people. Mm -hmm. For the people who never use frogs and don't use. Because yeah. my father in love don't know how to use. Yeah. Don't know how to give. So I can understand the point of view. But if you are in a foreigner country, you need to understand. It's always a must to, yeah, at least try to respect their culture. Yeah, exactly. There's one tiny thing that people might miss because, uh, well, if you guys go see the video, you can clearly hear that he, the, the Italian guy said, no, you are in Italy, you are not in China, right? So he's. Wait, that's it. Wait, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's it. <laughs> it's like, no, you respect my country, my culture. While he didn't know, the guy is not Chinese. So that single sentence is very racist. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that guy is Korean. And he was like, what the fuck? All right. I think it was Korean. Oh, Asian is Chinese. It's basically like, oh, you see a foreigner. Hi, are you from America? Are you American? It's like, that's fucking racist. Yeah, but oh, maybe but that, it comes that, from like a very oh, innocent but, perspective. I mean... You're not going to be close because living in Taiwan, I listen and I saw a lot of black people yeah. who everybody say, oh, you're from South Africa. Yeah. Even if they yeah. are American people, they say, exactly. oh, you're from South Africa. Right. Even they are French. Mm -hmm. They are from every part of yeah. the country. Oh, a lot just of because you are yeah. black, you are from South Africa. Yeah, exactly. But the point is, you need to understand that can be a one times or two times in your life, mm -hmm. but you need to learn and improve. Yeah. Like you, you make a mistake, but you need to yeah. learn and improve. Just like that Italian guy, I can understand that he, when he said that sentence, he was making his point. He was not very, he was not even close to trying to be racist, but it might come out and the Korean guy might like, what the fuck you're talking about? Yeah. It's the same way, it's, <laughs> yeah, the, same. it's, it's the, the same. same. It's the same when his father-in-law yeah. told like, a, don't eat weird things. Yeah, exactly. It was like, for you, you calling for, my culture weird? You call to my culture? You call to my traditional food weird? Yeah. It's like at that, to that point. Yeah. Maybe like the for intention the, behind you saying The intention something. of his father, of me, my father-in-law yeah. was like, a, don't eat strange things. Yeah. But the word is strange. And how you understand how you perceive it. Yeah, yeah. it's the perspective of everyone. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Whoa, Whoa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy that we are not going to be sincere about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it was a it was a fantastic episode, and thank you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and you know turn on that little thingy uh, to get some newest, latest notification of uh, Bros Bond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's me, Concor. It's me, Tyler. And this is Bros, Bros Bond. We bye are bye. so in sync this yeah, time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Studio307.7，灯光美，气氛加使用的设备都还超级顶级。不管你是Pro级的专业人士，想要自己来试试看，或者是新手菜鸟需要人家引导讲解，台南的朋友想要当Podcaster吗？赶快过来，赶快试试